Hey everyone, hello, I'm back in Studio B21 and let me tell you, today's recipe is fire. We're making a super elegant shrimp appetizer that's going to blow your mind. This is the perfect dish to impress your guests and the best parties. It's surprisingly easy to make, stay tuned for the recipe. And if you like what you see, please leave a like, a comment and subscribe down below. Let's go. So we're starting off with about a pound of shrimp and we're just gonna drizzle that with a little bit of olive oil. And then we're gonna sprinkle in about two tablespoons of Cajun seasoning. We're gonna give that a nice toss to incorporate all the flavors and we're just gonna set that aside and let that sit for a little bit while we get our mango sauce together. Like I said, this recipe is very easy, very simple and very elegant. I also forgot to mention that um, for the shrimp itself, we left just the tail piece of the shell on, but the rest of the skin, you can take it off. Now that our shrimp are out of the way and set to the side to marinate a little bit, we're going to take our mangoes, we're going to peel off all the skin, then we're just going to cut them up in large chunks and set them aside until we get the rest of our ingredients ready to go. Now taking two limes, you're just going to cut those in half and set them aside as well. Next you're taking one ginger and you're just gonna peel off all the skin and you can chop them up in large chunks if you want but I wait till the last minute so we can just throw those in our blender. Of course we can't forget our one bunch of basil. All right, now that we have all our ingredients, we're gonna just start our blending process which is we're gonna start off with one full lime squeezed to the bottom of your blender then we have our beautiful colorful juicy mango that we cut up in nice chunks that we're gonna add in next next you want to add in your basil um, you can also add like a clove of garlic if you want to but it's not necessarily needed right just a little extra flavor and you can see I'm on the side I'm chopping up my ginger in little chunks so you can do that before you put it in the blender or you can put it in a hole your blender should be able to cut it down then you're gonna squeeze a little bit more lime juice on top and then we're gonna begin just to process and get our sauce nice blended and thickened uh, you don't want it too thick if it comes out too thick you can add a little bit of water um, to it or a little bit of maybe mango juice that you have on the side just to thin it out a little bit because Evidently when it comes out you want it to be like a, sh a shot All right, you want to be able to put it in a shot glass have your sh your shrimp and just shoot that down with your shrimp And those combinations should come together very nicely. All right Even if you have some carbonated water on the side or something like that and that will go perfect as well uh, into this if the sauce is a little bit too thick throw some carbonated water in there as well Give it a nice mix just to loosen up the thickness and oh You're gonna see the quality is gonna be so nice You might have to adjust the the flavoring with a little bit of salt a little pepper maybe depends on how you like it Oh man, tell me if this doesn't look amazing to you. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. What would you rate this recipe from um, from 0 to 10? 10 being the highest. Let me know down below how you rate this. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, now we're on to the fun part. So you're gonna take a pan, put it on medium heat on your stove, which is a little bit of olive oil, and we're gonna saute our shrimp on one side. Give it about, I'll say four to five minutes on each side. It should be more than enough to cook the shrimp all the way through. Um, so yeah, just let it sit on one side for four to five minutes. Get a nice caramelization on one side, and then you're gonna turn it. I do the same on the other side. Um, the time varies depends on how big your shrimps are. You might want to cook it a bit less, a little bit more, depends on the size of your shrimp. Now to all our subscribers and our fans out there, you guys are truly amazing. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed so far, please consider doing so. You're helping out a great community. Please communicate with us in all our social medias. We're always available on those and in our comment section as well. So please hit us up. Let us know how we're doing with our recipes. If you like our recipes, if you tried it, if it's amazing or not. But that being said, you guys stay true. And we're going to get to our, into our beautiful plating section of this video. Thank you guys for watching. And we will definitely hit you guys up on the next episode of Cooking in the Studio. Alright. Uh, if you happen to pass a minute in this video, leave a comment. And we'll give you a shout out on the next food video. Until then guys, enjoy the recipe.